Hello, my name is Jenny Zhang, and I am presenting Learning Emergent Gates with Decentralized Phase Oscillators on the role of observations, rewards, and feedback. During locomotion, quadrupeds can exhibit a variety of gates, or footfall patterns, such as trotting and bounding. We present a learning framework using decentralized phase oscillators that encourages regular gates using all four legs without explicitly specifying which gate to be in, enabling natural gate emergence and transitions. Each leg has its own oscillator, with 0 to pi representing swing phase and pi to 2 pi representing stance phase, encouraged by this reward to make contact only during stance phase. The oscillators advance at nominal frequency during swing and are indirectly coupled through ground reaction forces, speeding up towards the middle of stance if forces are felt around the beginning, as the leg is needed to support the robot. Toward the end of stance phase, if the leg continues to experience high forces, it is still needed to support the robot, and the phase velocity slows down to remain in stance phase longer. Phase observations from the oscillators are provided to the policy input along with other standard state information, and desired joint states are output to the robot. The policy is rewarded if the robot's legs experience ground reaction forces during stance phase and penalized if GRFs are experienced during swing phase. The robot interacts with the environment and GRF feedback affects the oscillator dynamics through the coupling term. Setting sigma to zero cancels out feedback and reduces the oscillators to clocks that always advance at the nominal frequency, keeping phase differences between legs constant. Through an ablation study of the signals in blue, we answered these questions. Which signals are needed to consistently learn gates that distribute the load equally across all legs? How do the signals influence gate emergence? And how does each signal affect overall stability? For org configurations without both observations and rewards, they tended to converge inconsistently to two or three-legged gates, while ORC11X consistently used all legs in a balanced way. We tested the same policies for rejecting pushes up to 3.5 meters per second and found that on average, policies trained with rewards performed better than those without, even when they didn't have phase observation to be Markov. When coupling is turned off, we expect the robot to track the phase differences it was initialized with, and we see a variety of gates here being tracked in sim with trotting and pacing on hardware. When we turn coupling on, the oscillator dynamics makes some gates more attractive and we see convergence patterns in both ORC110 and ORC111. The convergence to preferred gates is faster and more concentrated when the policy is trained with coupling than without. Here we see a pace to trot transition in sim and a trot to prong transition in hardware. We're still working on sim to real gaps causing different convergence patterns, but the hardware is generally able to replicate standard gate tracking and stopping. The authors would like to thank Aditya Marocha for its tremendous help with Mini Cheetah hardware and filming, as well as the whole Biomimetic Robotics Lab for supporting this work.